بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا برانچز آف زو جیوگرافی دیر آر تھری مین برانچز آف اور یو کین سی برانچز آر ڈویژن آف زو جیوگرافی ان سم اسٹڈیز دیر آر ٹین برانچز آف زو جیوگرافی بٹ ڈیو ٹو دا ریلیٹیوٹیز دیز برانچز آر پلیس ان تھری گروپس یو کین سی دیٹ ریلیٹیو اور دا سملر برانچز آر کیپٹ ان سیم گروپس so these um, groups are the descriptive zoo geography casual zoo, zoo, zoo geography and applied zoo geography first is the descriptive zoo geography so descriptive zoo geography is the study of animals and their habitats and describe the detailed pattern of the animal distribution so as the name indicates that descriptive mean to explain um, something in detail so in descriptive zoo geography we will um, study the habitat and the detail pattern of animal distribution and the descriptive zoo geography is further divided into four branches biokinetics chronology systematics and phonetics so um, let's a uh, see what is biokinetics so biokinetic is the study of the geographic distribution and dynamic of communities and the second definition of biokinesis is the uh, biokinesis is the group of the interacting organism that live in the particular habitat and form the self regulating ecological community so in biokinetic we study the geographic distribution of the dynamic communities so what is dynamic communities dynamic communities refers those communities that when the animal species are moving um, between the different localities dynamic word um, in moving condition or in moving space so uh, in biokinetic we study the animals that are moving uh, within different um, localities they are not restricted to a particular place the second is the chronology chronology is the study of the uh, geographic distribution of animal or uh, you can say that uh, the study of geographic range uh, mean we study a maximum range of the animal uh, movement for example um, if a species is present in a particular era or a period um, in chronology we find out the boundary line line or the limit of uh, the this particular species Uh, and the next is systematics systematic is the study of distribution of large group of animals um, as in uh, zoology you study the systematic and taxonomy and in systematic and taxonomy you study the lot of animals lot of phylum kingdoms uh, in a similar way in systematic zoo geography you study the uh, distribution of the large group of animals and next is uh, the phonetics so phonetics is the study of discovery of uh, new species and its distribution phonetics um, study basically study the newly discovered species uh, studies uh, studied in phonetics and um, as the number of species increases uh, due to the uh, new researches so the phonetics is Uh, the field of zoo geography in which we study the newly explored or newly discovered species next is the casual zoo geography casual um, as the word casual relates to causes in this division we find out the causes of present distribution of animals so in casual zoo geography we study the causes that bring the animal distribution actually found uh, today so um, there are for the three branches of casual zoo geography that is ecological zoo geography historical zoo geography and experimental zoo geography let's discuss um, in detail one by one the first one is ecological zoo geography in ecological zoo geography in this branch we study the environment and see how environment play a important role in animal distribution and as you know that environment is the key factor in animal distribution so ecological zoo geography is the study of the biotic and abiotic interaction that affects the animal distribution the next is 
द हिस्टोरिकल जूजोग्राफी इन हिस्टोरिकल जूजोग्राफी वी स्टडी एंड अंडरस्टैंड द ओरिजिन और ओरिजिन एक्सटेंशन एंड डिस्पर्सल ऑफ द एनिमल टक्सोन इन हिस्टोरिकल जूजोग्राफी वी स्टडी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द एनिमल सपोज इफ एनी इफ एनी स्पीशी इज प्रेजेंट इन अ पर्टिकुलर इरा और अ पीरियड वी विल स्टडी द ओरिजिन ऑफ दैट स्पीशी एंड इफ this species is not um, existing we get uh, fossils then um, we will study the fossil of a particular animal we will um, study the reason of its, its extension and uh, we don't study the full kingdom uh, we just in historical zoogeography we just uh, take a single animal or single taxon for study and next the experimental zoogeography in experimental zoogeography we study of uh, we study is the study of the procedure that has been used to study the origin extension and dispersal of the species so uh, in experimental zoogeography uh, we study the procedure that we um, use during the study of the historical zoogeography to find out the origin and extension of the species basically in experimental zoogeography we um, um use the different procedures uh, to study the fossils um and get conclusion um, in which this particular uh, species was present so in experimental zoogeography different procedures are uh, used to study the zoo and if we study the colonization of this island we will study the living organisms or fossils by using different procedures and this study uh, fall under the experimental zoogeography next is applied zoogeography applied zoogeography applied word means apply or use uh in society or you can say we are getting benefit from it so here is uh, two definition of applied zoogeography the first one is applied zoogeography is the study of distribution of those animals which are of medical importance and the second one is it is also defined as the geographic distribution of animals in both past and present so in applied zoogeography uh, we not only study the animals which are medically important but we explore other species as well which are economically important and here is some application of the applied zoogeography the first one is the economic production uh it is an activity carried out under the control and responsibility of an institutional units that uses the inputs of the labor capital and goods to produce the outputs of goods and services so economic production is the economic activities that aim directly or indirectly to satisfy the human wants and needs so as you know that there are several animal species that are economically important we getting lot of things from animals like leather meat and eggs the second application is the environmental assessment it is the assessment of the environmental consequences either positive or negative of a plan policy program or the actual projects prior to the decision to move forward with a proposed action environmental issues are harmful effects of the human activity on the biophysical environment environmental protection is a practice of protecting the natural environment on the individual organizational or government level for the benefit of both the environment and human so human activities should be minimized to protect the natural habitat next is the conservation management it seeks to regulate the human activities to minimize the direct and indirect impact on the valid sites so conservation management system is a procedure for maintaining a species or a habitat in a particular state it is a mean where by the human mankind secures wildlife in a favorable condition for contemplation contemplation mean examination its uh, inspection or observation so um it is uh, wildlife in a favorable condition for contemplation education or research in a perpetuity perpetuity means um, to last something forever 
and next is the sustainable use of resources sustainable um, use of it means the use of the components of the biological diversity in a way and at a rate that does not lead to the long term decline of the biological diversity thereby maintaining its potential to meet the needs and aspiration of the present and the future generation so um the sustainable use of the resources and increased demand for the resources such as energy food and fuel means uh, that developing sustainable resources is critical to protect the environment for future generations and next is the landscape planning it is defined as an activity concerned with developing the landscape among us the competing land uses while protecting the natural processes and significant cultural and the natural resources uh when we using the landscape for construction or any other purpose try to protect the natural processes uh, because if we are not protecting the natural uh, processes um, we are not protecting the natural habitat so there will be a decline of the wildlife and as you know that if wildlife uh, or there is no conservation of the wildlife there should be a uh, uh, environmental issues should be there the next is the public health it is defined as the science in art of preventing disease prolonging life and improving the quality of the life to organize if efforts and inform choices of the society organization communities and individuals so public health aims to improve the quality of the life through prevention and treatment of the disease so uh, there are so many drugs that are synthesized from uh, the animals so we have to protect the animals for uh, the benefit of human kind thanks